to plan, time to pack. Nazareth to Bethlehem, a journey of around 70 or 90 miles, depending on the route. Taking anything between four to seven days. Everywhere would be busy with many other people travelling to their places of birth, hustle and bustle and noise. But this isn't just about Mary and Joseph now. There's a baby to be born soon, so careful preparation is needed. How many changes of clothes will they need? Not too many, but enough layers to keep them warm on cold nights. An outer garment, probably a cloak, dense enough to protect them from the elements. Some fabric for the baby, not too rough. Blankets and shawls, one soft enough to wrap that little baby in. What did they pack their things into? Had Joseph made some kind of a cart? Or would everything go into baskets that a donkey could carry? And what about food and drink? Water would have been carried in wineskins, and red wine would too. Wine was often mixed with water. And of course they'd have had that staple, bread. Bread made possibly from barley, baked on a circle of stones. Bread made from a fermented dough, maybe a little like sourdough. They would have needed quite a few loaves of bread for the journey. They'd have needed olive oil, too, for dipping it into and softening it as it became stale. And of course the olive oil would need seasoning, with salt, herbs and spices, maybe cumin, rue or saffron, coriander, mint or dill. And there'd have been olives, of course, and capers, too, for piquancy. They may have taken bean or lentil stews, I'm not sure what they'd have put them in, some kind of pottery container maybe. Meat would have been difficult to keep fresh unless it was cured. Dried fish would have been an option and good for Mary. Cheese made from sheep or goat's milk, soft cheeses, probably quite tangy and maybe even feta like And of course they'd have had fruit, figs, wonderful figs, pomegranates, melons, grapes, but apparently most of the grapes were used for wine. They must have dried some of them and had raisins. And then there'd have been dates. No sugar, nothing really sweet, and honey was a product for the wealthy. And of course the food was kosher, and this was really important to them. Their foods had to be prepared in a certain way. Certain foods couldn't be mixed, and certain foods were forbidden. And so everything had to be treated in a particular way. And that makes me think of how they treated food with respect. Everything packed and ready to go. Not long now. We don't know what they took on that journey, but they didn't go empty-handed. Let's end today's journey with those wonderful words from the Gospel of John. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. Amen.